Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How Choose. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make money with Mind My House. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out this over just under this video. So let's get started. Now, in this case, what is Mind My House? So Mind My House is a platform where you can find house sitting gigs. Homeowners who are going away need someone to look after their property and you can offer your services as a house sitter. So it's a great way for you to get free accommodation while you're traveling or working remotely. Plus, you can potentially earn money by charging for your house sitting services. Now, how do you sign up as a house sitter here? So first things first, you need to go to their official website, which is mymyhouse.com. And you want to scroll down here to the very bottom or in the bottom page here. And you want to go ahead and click on register now. Now, on this page, you have the following option to uh, register. So you have the home and pet owners. We have house sitters and dual account here, which in this case includes house sitters and pet owners. So for you to join their platform, you need to pay a fee here, which is around $29 for 12 months. So the $29 that you'll be paying here will be or will give you access for 12 months. So in this case, there is an annual fee that you need to pay here. But in this case, once you click on choose here, we just need to fill out your profile details or anything about yourself and your email that you want to use. So in this case, you might also need to provide your experience and skills and more comprehensive and appealing your profile the better your chances of getting assignments so in this case what's in it for you so what are the things that you could benefit from so one of the biggest perks is that you can get to stay in a homeowner's place without paying for accommodation so this is perfect if you're traveling or a digital nomad so you can choose to charge homeowners for your services. So this isn't required, but it's an option if you want to make extra cash on the side. Now, in this case, once you're within the platform or once you've joined the platform, what you'll be doing. So first, you have the house sitting duties here. So responsibilities might include taking care of the home, such as like maintenance, gardening, keeping things clean. If there are any pets, you need to look after them too. Now, also uh, using your free time here. So you have the time to work on other projects, whether it, that's running a business, writing, or exploring the local area itself. But in this case, how do you make money here? So while you're staying for free is already a big benefit for you. You can also decide to charge for your service. It depends on what you want to earn and the arrangements you make with the homeowner. So especially if you have special skills that they could actually benefit from. So if you have more skills than the usual uh, house sitter here, then you might be able to charge them uh, with, uh, because of those uh, skills that you have. So also, you, have, you also need a user time here to save on accommodation to work on other income generating activities like freelancing or managing an online store. So meaning if you're already staying somewhere for free and uh, it's already a, a big benefit here because we all know housing and hotel fees or the cost of houses or hotels are really high. So you're still uh, you're paying here or you're staying there for free. It's already a big win for you. But then again, you could go and use uh, your freelancing. If you have your laptop with you, you could go and bring it and start working on that a specific location. Now, in this case, you first need to understand your responsibilities. So make sure you're clear on what you need to do. So this could include taking care of a home and any pets, knowing the basics of pet care if you have any pets. And for instance, can be actually really helpful for you. Now, in this case, you also need to consider the cost here. So remember, while you might save on accommodation, you'll need to cover your own food and other expenses. It's also good to be prepared for travel costs and any emergencies. Now, in this case, uh, like what we saw before, there are going to be some membership fees that you need to pay on a yearly uh, or an annual basis. So again, to use Mind My House here, there's an annual membership around $29. So this applies to both house sitters and homeowners. It gives you access to all the platform's features for a year. So the $20 amount that you'll be paying, again, it's going to be in access for one year. So the amount that you'll be saving on this one is actually really big for just the amount that you'll be paying. 
Now, also, uh, don't limit yourself with Mind My House. There are other house sitting platforms like Trusted House Sitters or Workaway that might have different opportunities. But then again, make sure to weigh in your uh, options first. Now, final things that you need to do here. So first, use a checklist. So My My House provides a checklist for house sitters to ensure you're fully prepared. Make sure to review it before starting any assignment. Also, do your research here. If you're if you're a house if you're house sitting in a new location, familiarize yourself with the area, local laws where you can find essential services. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.